Well, when you think of games, chess is probably not the first one that comes to mind. In fact, to you guys, chess is probably just a game that old guys play in the park. And you're kind of right, but that's not all it is. Now you might be sitting there thinking, how did he make a whole project on this one outdated game? And if I never started playing chess, I'd probably think the same thing too. Now, now chess might seem like it's just a game that's fun, but I want to see what kind of impact it had beyond just being fun. I want to see if it helped in terms of mental skills, such as cognition, or something along those lines. So when I was about seven years old, my mom made me start playing chess. At the time, I didn't really want to do it because all I wanted to do was play basketball so I could make it to the NBA. More importantly, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to, uh, it seemed quite boring to me. So after playing for a number of years, I started to question, what was I actually gaining from this? I wasn't sure if my mom wanted me to be a chess hustler as a side job, or if she wanted me to become a, the next Bobby Fisher. One thing was for sure to me though, we were spending lots of money on classes, and I was stressing out a lot in the actual games. But over time, I realized that I was actually getting better in terms of memory and critical thinking. For memorization, I had all my openings down, and I could actually use them in games. And for critical thinking, I could see six to eight moves ahead of what was actually being played on the board. But I wasn't sure if these skills were natural, or if it was developed because of chess. That's why for my side can, I decided to compare these skills of chess players and compare them to those of non-chess players. Nowadays, you could say memory is becoming less dependent on. I mean, what's the point of memorizing anything when we have great technology that literally does everything for us? But what we tend to overlook is that we need memory for the small things in life. Whether it be remembering names, remembering faces, even remembering how to write. All that requires simple memory. Same goes for critical thinking. What's the point of thinking when you, when you have there's all this great technology and calculators that do everything for us? Well, we need to think for stuff that are basic, such as if you're driving a car, and say you come up to a yellow light, should you go past or should you stop? Now, I could go on about how these skills are useful and how, I, how chess helps develop these, but it wouldn't mean anything if I couldn't help support them. That's why I went out and gathered two groups. One group was students um, that had at least one year of chess experience, and one group with uh, no chess experience. And both, uh, both groups were given a test. The test, well, two tests. The first test was a critical thinking test, which was provided by the Columbia Southern University. This test consisted of 10 questions, and the second test was a memory test provided by the University of Washington, which consisted of, uh, which consisted of two, uh, six questions. And uh, the students with experience actually managed to perform uh, 80, 82 percent uh, on the critical thinking test, but the students without experience only got 70, uh, 70, 76 percent, as opposed to on the memory test, the students with experience got 77 percent, as opposed to the students without experience that got 71 percent. As you can see, the students with chess experience performed better on both the tests by a margin of 6 percent. Now, if you don't play chess, you should really try it out. I'm not saying that if you start playing, you'll memorize everything, but I know for a fact that over the years, it definitely helped me. To me, it's more than just a game now. It's something what, it's what truly challenged me and allowed me to open my perspectives. And if you don't take anything out of this presentation, that's fine. But just remember one thing. You have the capability to change your life all with a simple shift in perspective. Thank you.